first up at 10, we begin in Craig County. For years now, black mold has been a major health concern for students at Vanita Public Schools. Now voters get their say on a bond package worth more than $6 million that promises to clean up the problem. All new at 10, 2 News reporter Liz Bryant has the story from Vanita. This bond issue does not raise taxes and it impacts every school in the Vanita system with this building hall hostel needing the most work. This whole section, 12 classrooms, will be completely uh, torn down and replaced. That replacement is an 18,000 square foot wing. It moves classrooms back into the building that have been too hazardous to teach in. Now, those two classrooms there have been closed down since last September. This mold problem has been a constant cycle for years. The district has spent a majority of funds on air quality tests and temporary fixes to the mold issue. It's sad when you know a building you went to school with is falling apart and there's just no money to help. And Mother so of two, Amanda yeah. Stanley, is in favor of the large bond. No, I'm in the same class. For her kids' allergies. And it's nice that they're going to actually do some work to improve it. The problem starts in the ceiling with a leaking roof. Ceiling tiles are in some places non-existent because we just keep changing them out. Then the water and moisture flows through the air ducts. They had never been cleaned before, nor have any of the other schools' ductwork been cleaned. They desperately need it. Finally, the problem travels down to the carpet. The carpet is just wrinkled from years of uh, moisture. And the bond pays for a new roof for every school, cleans the air ducts, and replaces the carpet with tile. We've got to do this. We cannot continue in the way we're going right now. If this bond issue passes, construction will begin the last day of school. But if it fails, the superintendent says he'll push for it to be back on the August ballot. Reporting in Vanita, Liz Bryant, 2 News works for you.